Nanotech is putting people around the table to look in these advanced topics which type of research they can take from the scientific driven research into the roadmap based research. And this process of becoming aware is, is not a, a week or a two weeks time, it's, it's based on discussions, very frank discussions, open. Nanotech is a European funded project, uh, comes under the category of uh, coordination action and um, it has uh, 10 partners who are finding ways in which we can address two um, objectives. One being the building a community of uh, nanoelectronics researchers in academia working in both in technology and design and the other is um, the identification of uh, emerging technologies for information and communication processing. So European nanoelectronics research is targeting to maintain progress and innovation in nanoelectronics going to smaller and smaller dimensions. That's in our jargon what we call more more, right? The other aspect it's more than just going to smaller and smaller dimensions, it's also about lower energy. And it's also about what we call functionalization, putting more functions on the silicon, putting more functions in the components. In Europe, we want to advance both fields at the same moment. It's a, this is a European asset compared to the US and to other regions in the world. It's hard to envision exactly the direction, but uh, as a general trend, I imagine the projects themselves will be moving uh, less away from the model of the uh, lone researcher, uh, sort of the classical model of research, and more toward these uh, collaborative projects, both within countries and across borders. That's why we need to put people with different mindsets, with different uh, disciplines around the table and that's exactly what the nanotechnology project is doing. Learning to talk to your design colleague if you're a materials or device person and vice versa and then with this more mature approach uh, talk to our industrial partners and other stakeholders who could then retake these uh, concepts or proofs and take them further up in the value chain towards processes or new products. On the part of building a community, we are setting up a web-based um, interactive platform so that colleagues can collaborate in different working groups and also um, put their comments, discussions, um, guided by or coordinated by a convener of a discussion group, and then use those discussions as input to our workshops. I think this is very difficult to predict and like you said, I don't have a crystal ball to look in. Well, 10 years is not too bad. In a sense, um, if you said 20 years, it gets more complicated. I think that there will still be research on advanced nanoelectronics technology, advanced CMOS. That will continue. And I think the devices and the new concepts that you are working on now will be used for specific needs, specific type of activities, specific requirements. They will be integrated together with this advanced CMOS, together to give solutions for the systems of the future. Uh, so it's, it's hard to envision exactly the direction, but uh, as a general trend, I imagine the projects themselves will be moving uh, less away from the model of the uh, lone researcher, uh, sort of the classical model of research, and more toward these uh, collaborative projects, both within countries and across borders. Mm -hmm.